Hello everyone, so welcome back to the new lab session of Microsoft Excel. So in this lab we'll see one more frequently used function in Microsoft Excel is count function. Okay. So the moment you hear this word uh, count, the first thing coming to mind that you need to count something. It may be a set of number, a set of names, a set of uh, people, set of books, etc. But here in Excel, the count function is a bit different. Okay, so let's see an example. So here, when I open an Excel here, you see uh, there are two sets. One is a set of number, another one is a set of name. So we have to count how many numbers are there in this set and how many names are there in this set okay so this thing you can achieve uh, when I select this region and you see in the status you are getting 15 similarly here also when I select this region I am getting the same result that is 15 that means when I write count function I should get the same result in this case as well in this case okay so let me write so let me write for the first number that is when I write count start my bracket and if I select this reason and when I close I am getting or I should get 15 when I press enter I just I am getting 15 but when I press when I select this reason let's say the name reason and when I close and I press enter I should get 15 also so let me press enter I'm getting zero but when I'm checking it here I'm getting 15 and here also we am getting 15 but why I'm getting here zero so this count that is seen here or this count you are checking here and this count this are different when I select this reason and I'm getting this 15 this 15 is nothing but is the number of selected cell that contains data that means when I select this reason and this 15 is nothing but in this reason it checks whether the cell is having any data or not so each cell of the selected reason is having any data yes so that's why it is giving 15 similarly the same rule applies here that's why it is giving 15 here but when I'm using this count function this is different so what is the use of count function this count function is generally checks whether in a selected range the cell is having numbers or not so as I have selected this reason this in this reason each cell is having numbers that's why it is giving 15 but here in this range I don't have any number that's why it is giving 0 so you see here when I write equal to and when I write count you see what it written here counts the number of cells in a range that contains numbers okay that's why in this case it is showing 0 but in this case it is showing 15 let's me have one more example here let's say if you see here if I'm writing here in this range what should be the answer the answer should be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 see when I write here count and when I select this reason and when, when I press enter it should give me 7 you see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 but when I write count and I select the name reason I am getting 0 so you see this screenshot that is the count function is generally counts the number of cells in a range that contains numbers so this is one function that is count function you have seen